Hello, I'm Shawanda Reynolds Cobb, the Commissioner of the Department of Juvenile Justice, and welcome to the DJJ Update. This past May, DJJ held a graduation ceremony for 46 youth enrolled in the department school system. 22 students earned high school diplomas and 24 students were awarded GED degrees. Additionally, 19 youths received technical certificates of credit. 2023 class leaders included the valedictorian and salutatorian from our Muskogee Youth Development Campus in Columbus. And the student with the highest GED score is from Muskogee Education Transition Center. I learned early on that traditional high school was not for me. When I thought I was a junior, I learned I only had enough credits to be a freshman. I was so broken by that news, I decided to enroll the GED program. I took the required test and I passed. My head beat on my mother, and my head from my dad never had a chance to finish school. In fact, my dad is still incarcerated, but I'm happy to announce I'm the first graduate in my family. I am so proud of our youth's accomplishments. This graduation is a defining moment in their lives and a step towards higher education and career readiness. I want to thank our team of educators for their dedication and commitment and for encouraging our youth to pursue their goals. Three female youths at the Airbrook Shaw Regional Youth Detention Center were awarded top prizes at the annual Dalton Flower Show in May held at the Mac Gaston Community Center in Dalton. The two-day event promotes the love of gardening and floral design. DJJ Youth's Fairy Garden display received first place in the youth division, and their aloe vera plant, grown in the facility's greenhouse, received first place in the potted plants division. This marks the third year our youth have participated in the Dalton Flower Show and received first place honors. Congratulations to our Ebert Shaw Youth. DJJ's Education Transition Center youth visited the High Museum of Art in early March. 22 students engaged in a workshop with teaching artists and were provided with a gallery blueprint to create their own art exhibit. We thank the High Museum of Art for supporting our youth with cultural and creative enrichment. DJJ recently held graduation ceremonies for Basic Juvenile Probation Officer Training Class No. 23, Basic Community Services Training Class No. 32, and Basic Juvenile Correctional Officer Training Classes No. 258 and No. 259. These new and promoted officers have gained valuable knowledge and skills to support the DJJ mission to redirect and shape the young lives in the agency's care. So again, I thank our officers for their commitment to serving our youth and the state of Georgia. DJJ would like to welcome Executive Pastor Garland Hunt to the Board of Juvenile Justice. Governor Brian Kemp appointed Mr. Hunt to serve on the board as the seventh congressional district representative. He was sworn in on March 3rd, 2023 for a five-year term. Welcome, Mr. Hunt, to the DJJ Board. In observance of National Child Abuse Prevention Month each April, DJJ employees place pinwheels in front of our offices to raise awareness around the importance of preventing child abuse and neglect. Thank you, Team DJJ, for being devoted to serving and protecting our youth. To learn more about preventing child abuse, visit childwelfare.gov. On March 29th, during the last day of the Georgia General Assembly, DJJ Chaplain Emily Kelly provided the morning devotion to the Georgia Senate as the Chaplain of the Day. Each day of the legislative session, a member of the Senate or House invites a religious figure to lead the chamber in daily devotion. State Senator Chuck Payne, a former DJJ employee, 
asked Chaplain Kelly to serve on the assembly's final day. She starts with saying it helps now and then to step back and to take a long view. The kingdom is not only beyond our efforts, it is even beyond our vision. We accomplish in our lifetime only a tiny fraction of the magnificent enterprise that is God's work. Nothing we do is complete, which is a way of saying that the kingdom always lies beyond us. Thank you, Chaplain Kelly, for your service to our state. And here's more about Chaplain Kelly and the work she does at DJJ. Hello, I'm Emily Kelly. I'm a chaplain for Georgia's Department of Juvenile Justice. I began with the agency in 2015. My job responsibilities entail routinely visiting the seven facilities within the Northwest region, providing pastoral care to both youth and staff, equipping the youth with tools of prayer, meditation, study, and service, and facilitating spiritual formation groups. What I like most about my job is being able to meet each person where they are, being able to see and hear each youth for who they have been uniquely created to be, and by being able to journey with each youth while they are within the care of the agency. Hello, I'm Communications Specialist Jessica Walker. On May 2nd, Governor Brian Kemp announced that Shawanda Reynolds Cobb will become the permanent commissioner of the Department of Juvenile Justice. Ms. Reynolds Cobb, who has 30 years of service in state government, has served as the agency's interim commissioner since December 2022. It's an honor to have y'all with us. So excited about the leadership that you've been providing and we're really excited to make you the permanent commissioner. It was well deserved, well earned, and uh, you know, I want to thank the team. Additionally, Governor Kemp said that he has the utmost confidence that Commissioner Reynolds Cobb would build on the work of the past few months to ensure DJJ helps youth involved in the justice process grow into productive citizens. I am humbled to have the opportunity to serve as the new DJJ Commissioner, and I'm looking forward to continuing the good work that we've always had in place in serving our young people. We look forward to working not only with the staff, but also the communities and our other sister agencies to ensure that we're providing our youth with the tools that they need to become thriving citizens in the community. This is your DJJ update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next update.